everyone welcome back to another video today i will be sharing a new feature that gnos 5 has just launched with their newest update but before we get started don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the all new gnos 5 feature called elements so as of today, Gnos 5 has just launched its 5.7 update, which features a brand new function called Elements. You can find this new feature with this icon under the toolbar, but if you can't find this icon, make sure you go to the App Store and update your Gnos 5 app to the latest version. For the last couple of months, I've been working closely with the Gnos 5 team as one of their beta testers, and my experience so far with the Elements feature has helped me improve my workflow so much more than ever. The Elements tool allows you to save any object including stickers, images, headers, drawings, diagrams, or even calligraphy to easily be used multiple times across all of your notebooks. With this new function, you no longer have to copy and paste between different notebooks or redraw the same things again when you are short of time. From the toolbar, you can insert any saved element back into your notes and to add a new element, you can select something with the lasso tool or import images such as digital stickers or sticky notes. The elements are also saved in collections which group different types of elements that are easily accessible from the toolbar. So you could have collections for text, stickers, or even different subjects. This new feature is super amazing because when it comes to bullet journaling, it's now incredibly easy to save custom stickers to decorate your notes or add sticky notes. With this update, you will have access to a few default collections such as sticky notes and shapes. Here I am adding my digital stickers that I have created into a collection so that I can easily access them when I am planning with my digital planner. Also, when studying, you no longer have to draw the same shapes, graphs, or equations over and over again because now you can simply save it one time as an element. I wish I had this feature when I was taking organic chemistry because it was such a hassle redrawing a bunch of hexagons in my notes. But I'm glad that this new feature will help a lot of you guys out there who are currently taking organic chemistry or other subjects that require you to add a lot of equations or shapes into your notes. And that pretty much wraps up what Elements is in this update. Gnos 5 is highly packed with so many other different functions and I hope that this added on feature will now increase your workflow even more. Also, a big congratulations to Gnos for their 10 year anniversary and thank you so much again to the Gnos team for this awesome care package. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a like and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye guys!